barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I'm on my way. Just dropped my daughter off. And grandma's on my way. Oh, join the Patreon. Shit. Anyhow, to the Abnamarez Tank Davis press conference, right? And I've been listening to Robert Garcia. They're pretty confident and arrogant. You know, <laughs> he says in the video, Mikey Garcia, but he's married or has a girl or something like that. He said if he wasn't, he would take Earl Spence, girl. And then yesterday, I heard him say, he's gonna walk Earl Spence down. So he's gonna walk Earl Spence down and take his girl. It's wartime, man. And here's the, I want everyone to fully grasp and understand this about the energy. See, Robert Garcia is gonna do this with a smile. He's gonna chuckle after he says it, but People are gonna stand up and ride with Mikey Garcia. And I'm talking about his Latin brothers, right? And they're gonna be proud and loud and everything, every which way possible. But the moment, I'm telling you guys, and I need y'all motherfuckers to stand firm on this. The moment we become a conglomerate and start saying, I'm rooting for Earl Spence because he's black, all hell gonna break loose. Earl Spence, I need you to walk that nigga from corner to corner, all right? I didn't make any money on the Deontay Wilder fight because that nigga got up in the 12th round. Damn! If I would've, man, I would've won $15,000 if that nigga didn't get up. Fuck! But I'm gonna tell you what, I'm just gonna roll that money over to Earl Spence, Mikey Garcia. So here's what I want all my Latin Kings to do. All right, this ain't no race ride, but we know what side of the fence we on, so don't get it twisted. Fred hates Mex. No, no, I love Mexicans. You know what I mean? I love, you know what I mean? We all grew up together. Once we realize we come from the same mother, you know, then everything all started making sense. But anyhow, as I digress, I'm going to roll that money over to Earl Spence. I need him walk, I need to, I need you to walk him from corner to corner. I need you to break both jaws. I need you to help him realize the reason why there are weight classes, as Paul Malinaji says, right? It ain't no, I, I, Earl, I need you to destroy him. I will secretly tell you, if I talk to you before the fight and let you know how much money I'm quite possibly putting on you, but I need you to destroy this kid, all right? He shouldn't be able to talk at the press conference, all right? Robert Garcia is talking with a slick tongue. And it's no ill will. He just, he's protecting his brother, obviously. But he's talking big shit. Nigga say he gonna take my girl? That's about as low as you can go. Besides talking about mom and dad, but you know we, know, we all know that's off limits. But he says, I'm gonna walk him down and take his girl. That's the biggest shit you can say about a fighter. And take his purse, you know, his, his money. So at the end of the day, and I don't know, why do boxers call it purse? It, it, it's such an emasculating word. I, anyways, anyways, just, so, um, so Earl Spence, I, I'm anxious and excited for this. This fight has officially become an event for me. I might skip the Sean Porter fight and get the Dallas on Monday. Like, for, or I might fly because Dre said, are you, Dre said, Dre fucked up and said, are you flying from, from Vegas to Dallas? I was like, oh, I should have said, yeah. But I said, no, I'm going to come home for a couple of days because I want to see my kids. But I am so anxious for this fight. I might fly Sunday morning or I might spend an extra day in Vegas to gamble a little bit. You know, I put my, and, and it's the perfect weekend because I get to put my bet in. I, you, you, I, I get to put my bet in for Earl Spence. So I need all my Latin friends to go put your bet in early. So we can drop that betting line, all right? Drop, it's a little bit over 300 right now. I need y'all to drop that betting line and put y'all money in on Mikey Garcia. Please do it. <laughs> all right, man. So anyways, man. Uh, yeah, man, it's going down. So I might, I don't know. We'll see. I asked Dre if she wanted to go to Dallas because it's such a big spectacle. You know what I mean? As it relates to just being in the presence. You know what I mean? And since I already got to pay for a hotel, all I got to do is pay for $300 for a flight. She might as well just come up on Saturday and 
leave Sunday morning with me, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do some. She doesn't like. The funny thing, Dre has full access and has only been to one fight Keith Thurman, Sean Porter. I Ironic. Anyway, it's enough about that shit. Y'all don't want to hear about that. Y'all want to hear me talk big shit. So, I heard someone on Troll Boxy Talk say, Mikey Garcia need to walk the Green Mile. Yes. The moment he signed that contract was his third fucking strike. He's not doing 25 years. He's, he's getting a death sentence. Earl Spence, I need you to bust his head. I need you to chop that nigga up. I need you to chop and screw for all my trill niggas down in a TX. All right? <laughs> I need you to chop and, chop and screw that nigga. They talk, they kind of slick up there. You know, like, like it, it, if you've only competed at anything, you understand exactly the, the type of shit that Robert Garcia, he's talking with a slick tongue. I know he is because I've competed my entire life. You know, I, I don't com I compete with myself more than anyone else in terms of sports now, but I understand exactly what he's saying. Well, we about to show these niggas black is a dominant race. We are athletically superior. We are athletic, athletic freaks of nature. Earl Spence is gonna Earl Spence is gonna knock your ass down back to 140. All right, and it's wartime. I, and at the end of the day, you guys know how much we. I, I have to say this shit not for Mikey Garcia, but I have to say it for the for the because Mikey Garcia got some got some 13s in this in this clan. You know what I mean? With with tattoos and shit. Who may think I'm racist? So I'm gonna just put a disclaimer out there. Mikey Garcia is a top five pound for pound best fighter in the world. However. I have a great deal of respect for Mikey Garcia. I think he bit off more than he can chew. And Mikey and Robbie Garcia is poking the bear. He's poking the bear. And I know exactly what he's doing because I poke the bear with y'all on the internet a lot. I poke the bear. And I see how y'all gonna respond if, if I title it like this? How y'all gonna respond if I do it like this? And y'all, some people fall for it. I see black people in the comment section falling for my traps, and I, and I know, and, and, and that leads me to believe I know where they at, you know? But anyways, man, I salute y'all. I'm on my way to Robert Garcia, Mike, Mikey Garcia, oh, Robert Garcia, Abner press conference, Tank Davis. So it's not, I don't hate the Garcias. I have a great deal of respect for Robert Garcia from turning nothing literally into something, so. I, 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 I have a great deal of respect for the Garcias. I want people to fully grasp and understand that. All right. Uh, but it's go time. Which side, which side are you on? As Tupac would say. So at the end of the day. And, and the irony about this is black boxing fans haven't said anything. Haven't said anything. But it's gonna be a black and brown. It's gonna be a black and brown affair March 16th. That's guaranteed. I can guarantee you that. And Robert Garcia is poking the bear and making it as such. No one has said more visceral things like, "That's the most visceral thing you can say." I'm gonna take your girl and walk you down. <laughs> oh man, this war time. Anyways, man, I just thought I'd salute y'all. I want y'all to have a great Thursday. Uh, um, to all my brown brothers with the 13 on their chest, it's all love. It's just boxing. But I stand firm on my prediction. All right. And if you want to bet me in the comment section, put your money up. Put your stop talking. Uh, all y'all Mikey Garcia fans, stop talking. Put your money up. Don't say, oh, he going to do this. Put your money up. All right. PayPal me the money. I'll fucking hold it. Or we want to put it in escrow, we put it in escrow. All right. I'll, I'm not running. I'm not running from no up to four figure bets. I'm not running. If you can prove your income, I'm not running from you. Put your fucking money up and let's go. Let's get it. Barbershop conversations, man. I salute y'all. Mikey Garcia, I just think you bit off more than you can chew. The only reason why I'm prefacing this shit because I know what black and brown shit does in LA. And I don't want it to go there. This is just simply boxing. But I understand the pride that they have. And I 100% under, I, I, I understand that. And um, other than that, I wouldn't preface this. This ain't no pick up your gun shit. These are just two grown men stepping in the ring box and I believe they can beat each other. And I believe Earl Spence is just going to fucking... Earl Spence is going to put a whooping on Mikey Garcia. That's just what I believe. 
and uh, Mikey Garcia knows nine out of ten media members are picking Earl Spence, no matter if they tell him quiet, quietly, silently. I don't tell him at all. He knows what he's up against. So, anyways, man. Bar barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.